here with the head women's tennis coach, Ira Miller. Coach, I was wondering if you could comment on your team's performance at Rutgers this past Friday. Uh, well, uh, first of all, hats off to Rutgers. They played well. Um, I thought that we were a little tight in the doubles. Uh, we were, uh, probably would have closed out at second doubles, but we didn't get to finish it. Uh, first doubles uh, maybe had a little bit of a let up coming up after it went over Columbia. But uh, that kind of gave Rutgers the momentum, uh, and uh, you know they played well. Uh, we battled at all positions, but uh, you know closest match was at number three singles, Irina Dementieva, to go into a super breaker in the third. Uh, so uh, they worked hard, and uh, we know what we have to do this week. Uh, your lineup has been pretty consistent uh, throughout the spring so far. Expect to see any changes? Is that who you're probably going to go with for the most part? Well, um, we've been out without one of our starters, Jana Frepakovic, uh, who hopefully will be back uh, next month playing and like to see her back in the singles and doubles lineup. Um, but, you know, it's a work in progress right now seeing, you know, who's playing the best. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we'll see match to match how everyone's doing in their position. Well, this weekend you'll be traveling up to West Point to take on UMass in, a, I guess, a neutral court setting. Um, can you give us a possible preview of what we might be seeing on Sunday? Well, UMass is a very strong team and a good conference, and uh, they always come to play. Uh, it'll be a good test and challenge for us to go in there and not just uh, our goal is not just to play them close, but to finish the sets uh, and finish the matches and have the score be in our favor. All right, Coach. Well, thanks uh, for us for giving us some time, and uh, good luck this weekend.